Hey you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to repair some damaged silicone on your silicone baby dolls, unfortunately. So what happened was Nyla Cedar has just had so many pacifiers and bottles and posings and videos and pictures that her little mouth is in need of some tender love and care. So we're going to repair that today. So here's what you'll need to repair her little mouth that is starting to chip away at some paint and come disconnected. This is my little handy dandy sewing kit. Well, you won't need everything here. You will need like a needle or a toothpick. And you will also need this handy dandy household adhesive sealant that's 100% silicone that I've shown you in other videos for other projects. And I'll pin those things, those other videos below in a comment. You'll also need a paper towel or multiple paper towels because you don't want it to get messy and ruin your doll. I want to try to show you guys if you pull down her lip a bit you can see hopefully it's focusing I can't tell out here but you can see where it's ripped apart in the corner right over here when I pull down a bit and so that's what we're gonna try to fix but firstly let's take off her outfit because we don't want to get any of that nasty silicone glue which is very strong and my videos are intended for mature adult doll collectors and so if you are a younger person just ask your parent to help you with the silicone glue because it smells like salt and vinegar chips it's pretty disgusting it puts off some strong fumes so I would say it's pretty toxic and it would be good to do this outside or to wear a mask but yeah if you're a little person ask an adult for help of course just wanted to say that before we begin and just like at the dentist office, we're going to take the paper towel and put it here and tuck it behind her. So I'm gonna go back and right here. Okay, I'm going to take the lid off of the silicone glue. It's clear and chunky. Actually, I'm going to put it in a little tray over here and not on the paper towel. I feel like that's too close to the doll's body. We're going to put out just a little bit. See that tiny dab? Hopefully you can see that. Ugh, eh, the smell has hit me already. Disgusting. Ugh. Okay, then we're going to take... Do you guys see this needle that I showed you earlier? We're going to take it. And we're going to dip it in the silicone glue adhesive like this. See, it's coated. Okay. And then we're going to go over to the doll's mouth. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. Let's move this. And I'm going to pull the mouth back. And put some of that glue in there. And then if you feel like you maybe need some more, dip it again. Go back to it. I think I might need a little more. And then kind of press the mouth together like such. And then cross your fingers, say a little prayer, fingers, say a little prayer, whatever you do. Manifest some goodness all over this little mouth because we want to have her for a very long time. Let's do the other side too. 
Hopefully the camera is focusing on this, you guys. Okay. Oh, man, I got it on my hand. That's gross. I smell like salt and vinegar chip. And then kind of squeeze it together like such. And then we wait for this to dry, okay, you guys? So we're going to wait. And hopefully you don't see any around her mouth. I don't think there is. I think I did a pretty good job. It smells so disgusting though. I, I really hate how it smells, you guys. It's almost fishy. Ugh. Disgusting. So, we need to wait on this to dry for like many hours, okay? So, I'll probably come back like tomorrow to look at her and see how she's doing. And I'm going to leave her out on the dining room table tonight so she can stay out drying so she's not in the closet where I usually put her so hopefully she will be good to go tomorrow and I'll be a little scared to use a pacifier on her so we're gonna wait days and days before we try a bottle or pacifier in her little mouth and hopefully this actually works because I know I've been sent a doll before that somebody had tried to glue a finger back on and I don't know if they just did a shoddy job but the finger came undone again and it was like crunchy and it was a nightmare I had to send the doll back and the person was really mean to me <laughs> So that was a nightmare. I could do a, another long form video on that, but I think there's a short form video on that, but I digress. Anyway, so thoughts and prayers for this little girl. Let's hope her mouth will go back to normal <laughs> and I shouldn't have played with her so much because she clearly couldn't take it and, um, I think it was one of my Halloween videos that made her mouth come apart all the way like that because I had like the honey stick for Winnie the Pooh. I'll, I'll link that video in a pinned comment below. So just go to that you guys and you can see some of the random stuff that I'm talking about. But if you're watching this to heal your baby doll, I hope it works for you and leave a comment below. Tell me if it works.